Sometimes you get into the databases and all you've got is a big blank part for you to fill in. So that means that you've actually got to create the structure of your search. How do I combine all of these concepts? I need to use the, the AND operator. So AND brings them all together. So when I use AND, I'm actually narrowing down my results. My results will always be more specific each time I use AND. So if I got a lot of results even with this, I could put in another concept and AND it together and it will make it even more specific again. So remember we had our big funnel here that was OR and now I'm using AND and I'm going to bring it down to be able to answer my question. So AND will always do that. Now we're ready to go on to this idea of nested or creating, telling the database how to do the search. So we do that by using brackets. So what we're doing here is we're going to open a bracket and keep each concept with its synonyms together. So concept one will be social networking sites using our phrase searching, using the OR operator within the bracket or social media. I won't write them all out because we can um, just imagine that you would put more in there. And then close the bracket. Outside of the bracket, we're going to say AND. So that's our first concept. Second concept is culture or behaviour. And most databases will allow you to use your search techniques within the brackets, but you'd have to check that once again in the databases. And outside of the brackets, our third concept will open the brackets, we'll have and, and then we'll open the brackets and we'll go young adults or let's say teen and close the brackets. So what actually happens in the database is that it will run that search first, it will run that second, it will run that third, and it will and them all together at the end. If you don't do that and you were to put this in a database just like that, the logic is confused because you've actually got and and all mixed up and the database doesn't know what to do. So with that way, you're telling the database what concepts and synonyms live together. Does that make sense? A lot of researchers love to use this, even when they're in a search builder, a database that's got a search builder. It's up to you, it's another option, but sometimes you don't have extra options for that. The last one I want to talk about is proximity or adjacent searching. When I'm doing very complicated searches and I get a lot of results, sometimes what happens is that I find my word, say for instance social media and culture at different sections of the paper or the report or whatever it is I'm looking for. So social media might be at the very front and culture might be right down the bottom and they're not really interlinked as much as I'd like them to be. So this forces the database to be able to show a connection, if you like, between the two. So it's called proximity searching. Not all databases have this type of searching, so you'd have to check. So for instance, PubMed doesn't have proximity searching. So here's an example. Social media. I'm going to use the proximity operator of N. N means near in many databases. 
and I'm going to say that I want it to be five words. Near five of culture. So you're dictating to the database how close those words need to be together. So if you find results like that, you'll then be able to think, well, they are very interlinked. So that's within five words. You could do within 15, which is a sentence, or you could do within 50, which is a paragraph. As I said, not all databases have proximity searching. They might use a different operator, which is W, within, or the percentage sign. So again, it's about checking out the help screen. I think that's a good start. And as you progress with your searching and you understand the strange idiosyncrasies of each database, you'll get to be able to explore. And come back to this sort of approach will be very useful for you.